It's the Norte Show, Capital Lecture, with the name you can trust, Manny Norte right here. Another very special guest in the building, hailing from Long Beach, California, IA. Give you honors in the place. What's going yes, on, bro? I'm so excited to be here. Finally. Yes, yes, thank I've you. I've seen it, seen it from my, my phone screen and my laptop screen, but I'm happy to hear you. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, okay. I appreciate the love. I appreciate uh -huh. the love. Um, firstly, welcome welcome back to the UK. Yes, thank you, man. Is Give you on your first, is, is that your real name? Yeah. That's your government? My, my actual name, luckily. I mean, I... It's crazy because before I was thinking of a stage name. Yeah. And everyone I asked before, they was like, why won't you just use your name? And I'm like, oh, yeah. That sounds like, I like Giveon. It sounds like a... Giveon like, is like the a coolest name. Nice cologne or something. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Actually, that could be a thing. See, like your own cologne. We don't get there. We haven't even started yet. Mm -hmm. It's not even five minutes in. We don't get there. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, is this your second or third time to the UK? You've done a mm -hmm. show here once. Third time. Third time, yeah. yeah. See, I'm yeah or third or fourth. Third, I think. Okay. Because I the first time I came, I did a pop up show in um, Village Underground. It was right. Like yes. Eight, yes. Only like eight hundred people. Then the next time I did Wireless, and it was tens, tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. It's like you, your voice has been here before. You and your voice has been <laughs> here before. Like, what the hell is going on, bro? Because I, I, I got put onto you a lot. Um, I know a lot of girls, <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> I, I, I heard about your name even before the music. I'm like, who the hell is this guy? Like, mm. why are you all, all you girls talking about Give You on? And, like, <laughs> and I saw you and I heard you, and I thought, okay, I get, I get it. I understand. Mm -hmm. He's coming for everything, and he's coming for everyone. I want it. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's the story? How did you get into it? Have you got um, older brothers or musical brothers or? Sisters? I think it's just like the environment and just the music that was played right around the house. So you just can't help but once you start making something, right? It kind of reflects just if it's if it's classic, timeless music, mm -hmm. then you you kind of try you try to emulate that. But also just going through real life situations and real relationships and dealing with real people, right, right, right. Okay. It's just it's easier that way when it's all real, and then right. it's it's so much easier. What was being played in the house? Um, before I made my started making my own playlist. Mm -hmm. Luther Vandross, Jeez. Um, Teddy Pendergrass. Of course, of course, of course. Big names. Sade, Mary J. Blige. Okay, okay, okay. Like so just like real, like, timeless soul music. Right, 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 right. Heartbreak Anniversary. Mm-hmm. Different kind of title. That, I felt that. <laughs> that, that you know, an anniversary for your heartbreak. What brought that on? Um, a lot of my songs start with just, like, conversations, too. Uh-huh. And then it was approaching the a year since a breakup. And I was like, man, like I kind of started to reflect a little bit. Bro, you think about it. Yeah. And I was when like, you're going to certain places. Yeah, so I was like, wait, I'm kind of starting to, obviously not as heavy or s severe as when it happened, mm. but I'm like, oh, I could feel this a little bit. So then I was like, I'm gonna make a song about it. Like every year I get like a little sting. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, a, it's like the opposite of a holiday. So be honest. Now, in in that time where you are, uh, your, you know, it's an anniversary. Mm -hmm. Would you send us like slight little text or uh, reminder? Or, hey, not like the anniversary, but like if there was a birthday next week. Or something, <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 I'll send like a, <laughs> the hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or happy birthday. And would like you get that. anything back? Always. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 That's okay. the problem. I always get stuff back. Like it would be so much easier to move on from stuff. Right. If, like, I didn't get stuff back. I hear you. But you're always getting stuff back. Yeah, I guess they... Okay. You know? How'd you cope with that? <sighs> makes it more confusing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it makes for really good music, so... Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, it's a fantastic yeah. song, bro. Love that song. Love the first album as well. So from um, Baba Gump Shrimp to a worldwide superstar, mm -hmm. R&B sensation, ladies, <laughs> man. Yeah. Please tell me you went, you went back to the store, the shop your work colleagues and you went and stunt on them? So I did some... You had to stunt on them. You know, I did like a small dock with Apple. Okay. And I went back to shoot there. Okay. None of them was there. I was like, nah! Not even your manager? Nobody. No. <laughs> I'm walking around there, they're like... And I'm just looking like, you don't even know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they got their aprons on, I'm like, run. <laughs> get, <laughs> hey, hey, get out of here. That's mad. So do you speak to any of your workmates from back in the, in the day? Your colleague? Uh, yeah, there, there's a couple people that I got real close with, but then it's like, it, it developed into real friendship, so. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So that's the thing about certain, like, stages of your life. Mm -hmm. You meet the people you're supposed to meet. Right. I think. So True. So, um, 
What was the transitional period where you was working in that store in Bubblegum Shrimp mm -hmm. to being a singer? Like, do you just throw your apron off? Do you say, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm out? Honestly, Please. literally, that I never even quit. Technically, I probably still, I'm st I probably still work there. I oh, never... so you can get a job for Christmas if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> I never hard. actually was like, yo, I'm quitting. I just stopped going. Oh, really? Mm. Did they not call you? They probably did. <laughs> it's like whatever. Yeah, it wasn't saved. I don't answer saved numbers, unsaved numbers. Okay. Do you, okay. Do you no. answer like if it's just a number? Um, to be honest, I do now because when my money wasn't good, I never used to. <laughs> <laughs> you got like the bailiffs, yeah, you, got, you, you owe people money, you know what I mean? <laughs> that was always me. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it got bad, though, because sometimes I'll forget to save, and then the number keeps calling me. I'm like, Man, okay, okay. I don't want, like, I don't know what you're selling. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then I'll see a text, and it's like my cousin saying, you missed my wedding. I'm like, oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> I'm like, D my bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did, did it work? How was it? <laughs> but it, it'd be like family members I'll forget to save, but because... They'll put their number in and then I'll just enjoy them. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Now, your songs connect with people differently. Like, I'm listening to these songs and I'm like, yo, what the hell is going on? Mm -hmm. What's your process when you're, when you're writing? What's the scene? As far as, like, just, like, the way it's structured, the process besides the storytelling is I like to have the music first a lot of times. Okay. And I like to have a conversation in the room first. Right. No, it don't matter who it is. Okay. Like someone could be like dropping off food, and I'll be like, "So how are you, man?" And just so, just so we could talk, because sometimes I get stuff out of me. And then, yeah, I start to conceptualize, and then I don't know. I just want to make sure I write a true, honest story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think the most honest stories come from vulnerable conversations. Okay. And I think it translates into music. Like, you could tell that it's, this is a real story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, real. even some songs, I'll get specific down to a date in the city. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, I have a song called December 11th where I'm talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. how I was doing a show in Houston when I was on tour, and I, I seen a girl in the crowd, and I just couldn't get her out of my head. Crazy. Did she know it was about her? She has to. Yeah, wow. Well. But now every, everyone... They all know. Pretty, yeah, they all yeah, they <laughs> think it's about them. So, stuck on you, who is that about? Stuck on you? Ah, oh, I can't say. Ah! <laughs> it can be political, a bit right. te techy. So where were you when you was writing that? What, what was going on? I was actually in my living room in a, that I did Chicago freestyle. And okay. It's like the same little keyboard that was in the corner. Sick. And I was just like playing with chords. Yeah. And then I got the hook first. I was like, I can't say I love you no more because my friend's gonna judge me. Like, and it's ah, it's so it's bro. not even like too poetic, but it's it's so straightforward that it's like. That's it. Just that's 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 the that's it's as simple as that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Wanting to go back to something, but you already trashed that situation to your friends Damn. or family, and then you like, ah, actually, by the way, let's let's erase everything else. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? But yeah, love that, love that. Now, after your first album, how did you feel when you completed that before you got into your second? I was excited. I was new. Yeah, yeah, everything yeah. For was real. fresh. And I was curious. Okay. I was like, how, so how does received? this work? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How does this work? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. What really blew from that? Every song from that is either, almost every song is either gold or platinum or multiple. <laughs> platinum, yeah. And the album itself. Is talk, fun. talk, bro, talk. <laughs> Let them know, you bro. Know, every album, song. Every, every, every one. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, bro. I'm loving Thank the work. You. I'm loving the work. Thank you. And Heartbreak was on that album. So that's what blew from there. And Like I Want You. Yeah, yeah. That song's just, and they just keep reoccurring. Mad. Like, they just keep, people keep going back to those songs, too. And obviously now with the, so, uh, with the platforms of social media and then TikToks and whatever, whatever, it's uh -huh. going crazy still. Yeah, always. And that just it's just a testament to, okay, just make real timeless stuff. And you never know, even in six years, songs I made last year could. Yeah, you just never know. You don't know. I love that. I love yeah. that. I love that. All right, let's get into your second album now. Give or take. Mm-hmm. Yo, you were saying some things. Um, I want to pick a couple of my favorites, a few of my favorites. Yes. This will do. Mmm, this will do. The thing is, the thing is, with your songs, they're like pictures, bro. Oh, thank you. You can That's picture. That's the biggest compliment ever. Yeah, I can, I can see it. I can mm -hmm. feel it. Like, you can see a film with some of these things. Like, mm -hmm. you know, when you're, when you're, you're, you're making eye contact with a girl mm -hmm. in the crowd or whatever. Talk to me about that, that song right there. Yeah, so that song was... Yes, so this is after 
um, take time now. And if right. take time, I could love freely and don't have to worry about other variables mm -hmm. or any sense of like, why else would you be here? So then once that cycle happens, now it comes, you know, a little bit of recognition and you can't help but think they're only interested because of certain, you know, certain opportunities or certain rooms you're in. Yep. But I made a song that's like, even when, while knowing that in the back of my head, I'm like, it's fine. This will do. <laughs> so, so the, the yeah, the song, I, this will do, I was just painting a picture of right. her at the show. And right. the first half of the, first half of the song is actually, I see her in a black dress. Yep. Yep. And then the second half of the show is, I mean, of the song is supposed to be me saying like, she's backstage now at this point. How how'd you how do you gauge when you feel that they're just they're looking to come up? They that you know what I mean? Like they want some clout, they want to roll with the guy. I'm I'm gonna give you an a real honest. How do you how do you separate them? Honestly, you could tell you could just have a conversation. And you know I, straight away. And you yeah, people can't help but give it give it away. They can't help it. Okay. If they're even just, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? You know or, straight away. Right away. They're just checking you out, looking looking at other things. Like, yeah, you can just tell just yeah, yeah. based on certain questions and just it's just energy. But the only way you can tell is if you're surrounded by genuine people. Right, true. Because if that's all you're surrounded by, you wouldn't know how to tell the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. I hate yeah. it. Yeah. Make you mine. Bro. You saying some joints, man. I'm saying some joints. <clears throat> the thing is, I'm listening before I'm seeing the hype on Twitter. I'm taking it in. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I felt that one differently, bro. Mm -hmm. Like the one that you really want. They love that one. They love that one. I love that one. Me too. Yeah. Where were you when you made that song? What was going on through your head? Who was you after? You know what it is? I, w I was feeling more hopeful. Like about just like love in general. Right. Because the first half of when I was making Give or Take, I was just like, just in a place of just, just floating around. I've and got the concept yeah, of, yeah, the concept of love, I was just like, uh, this generation, I don't know how it works. You know, people, it, it's just different from when, it's different from my grandma and my grandpa. I hear you. I've got so many questions on your, on, on your perspective on love. Um, All right. But no, make you mind, that was me trying to just accept it, be open to it. Right, okay. You know, so. It's a big song. Thank you. <laughs> Feels good too. It's one of, more, one of my love, more, more, more lovey songs. Yeah. Where are you with love? That's what I want to ask you because I I, I get I feel different things from your songs. Mm -hmm. I mean, at, okay, I want I want I want to go. I'm, I'm I'm hopeful. I, I like it. Love, you, where love, where love what's feels this? good? Where um sorry, the, I want to move to another song. At least we tried. See, but but mm. then you said what did you say? <laughs> love is a losing game. I know, bro. Yeah. Take time with that. <laughs> Talk to me. What, 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 why are you in your feelings with that? It's Losing just, game. It's just bro. starting to seem like everywhere you look, no one's winning. Yeah, but the thing is, you might be looking in the wrong places, though. Bro. Yeah. You feel me? Because I feel like my... social media is, is a facade. It's a, it's a mirage. Not real, yeah. Yeah. We look. That's what I'm saying. Like Sometimes you got to look at your family. You got to look at your parents and yeah. aunties and uncles. And once you go to these holidays, you see all your family around and all your cousins. Mm -hmm. And you have to tell yourself that all of this is a product of love. These these people weren't just dropped off by a, a steward, like a bird. Yeah. Like people have to be in love. I mean, hopefully for the most part. Yeah. And then create this feeling that you're feeling. Us in this room, we're, we're both created from love. Yeah. Real so talk. that's when I get hope is when I want to just when I'm around people that I love. And I'm like, okay, I want to create more people that will love people. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I just love love. And yeah, I was I, about to say, where, where are you with love now? I'm a roller coaster. Okay, I'm okay. 27. Ladies, he's yeah. saying it right now. He's saying it right now. <laughs> you know, figuring it out. Yeah. <laughs> ask me next week, I'm like, what, love? No, yeah, stop. yeah. I think that's what makes the, me and, an artist too. And around different times of the year or how you're feeling, you, you, your perspective of love is different. Like when you're creative, in your creative space. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you have right. time for it? I try to make time, but... It's tough, isn't it? Yeah. Bro, it's tough. Or it's someone, that they have to be understanding. Like there's a lot Bro, going on. Because there's a lot going on. You can see what's going on. Yeah. Don't bust could, my balls. Yeah. Literally, you can see it. So it's like, but also that's the crazy thing. Every 
disagreement, every argument. <laughs> that's the problem with being a a and writer. Is yeah, yeah, everything yeah. is a song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like if you if you have a problem with me working <laughs> late nights because you know I'm working on music and I don't get to spend enough time with you, that's actually not going to work out well for you because now I'm going to write a song about the problem that you're having. Exactly. And I'm gonna be even later at the yeah, studio. Yeah, and that can win a Grammy. <laughs> right. And you can travel the world with that song. Right. So, so what so. what happens now? No. What? <laughs> and that's the song too. What happens now? Yeah, well, they oh, look at that. See? Look at that. Let's get in the studio right now. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is a song. It's Let's, mad. I just, sometimes I want to turn it off, but I walk around and I see everything looks, it just looks like a song. No, but that's your genius. So that's what, that's what makes you you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. You're always thinking, you're always working, but you can obviously have your downtime, but that's, mm -hmm. that's the, why your songs are so big. Um, to some of these ladies, do they low key hate you or do they all like it as well, slightly, that you're talking about them? I have no idea. Oh, really? They don't hit you up? Oh, no, no. Per I thought you were just saying, like, because girls are confusing, man. Ah. Uh... You know? Girls are confusing. <laughs> I love them, though. <laughs> you can't live with them. You can't live without them. Can't live without them at all. What do you like about a girl? What do what, you look for? Um, They're a lot more nurturing than my, my guy friends. Okay. And, you know, they'll actually, they'll listen to you. Yeah. And yeah. give you real sound advice. My My guy friends will be like, bro. Shut up. <laughs> you know, sometimes I want to be listened to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't listen to you much? Oh, or you know good. what that's it is? I'm a I, great listener. Honestly, I, I'm an amazing listener. Yeah, same. But it's a, it's a get over it right yeah. now that's mentality. Not that's not good. But if, a, you know, if I talk to, like, a lady friend, she'll listen and let me process my emotions. Before, right. eventually, I'll get over it, though. Right, okay. Whatever it is. Okay, I hear you, yeah. I hear you, I hear you. Um, another heartbreak. Mm-hmm. I feel like you've been through more heartbreaks than <laughs> <laughs> than you've been in love. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because cause if I'm not in something now, then that means everything else ended in a heartbreak, pretty much. So, yeah. But I will say there's just a lot to learn, too. And it's just <laughs> like doing f falling in love or doing it too young you gonna make mistakes, like as far as like that's a bit strong. As simple as like, cause I got a mistake. Young, sorry, as simple as you don't know how to even react to someone's emotion, and that could be like even that could start to create turmoil in the relationship. Yeah, but then, but then, but then, I've got, I've got my my baby brother, my youngest brother. Mm -hmm. He's married with kids, happily married, and he started young. It's been fine. Some people has he though? Huh? Has he though? Has he what? Been fine? Yes. I'm he tell, telling you, you think bro. He tells you everything? I'm, I'm, listen, I'm telling you okay, now. He's probably fine, actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. I'm like. Yeah. But he goes to church. He's heavy in church. Uh, it's needed. It's needed. You need because something. To, you, you need a. You, yeah, you need whatever, like a whatever middle, you believe. Like a, yes. It can't just be like a. And you know what it is? It can't just be strictly based on happiness because happiness, like the emotion, we're emotional people. Yeah, real talk, real talk. So the moment you're not, you're, you're supposed to be happy on your own. Mm. And then. Add someone to your happiness. Bro. You're not supposed to rely on people for your okay, happiness. Okay, give you a talk, talk, bro. Talk, talk, talk. And that's a lot of, that's, I think that's what a lot of what's happening now, too, is, no, I think people are just want to be more free. But, yeah, I think a lot of mistakes are made once you start to give people too much responsibility for how you feel. And it shouldn't be that. This is turning into a love yeah. Podcast kind of But I'm obsession. also, that's what I'm, I learned I love this. recently. Yeah. So I think I just need to keep trying. I, yeah, at yeah. least we tried. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Talking of church now, um, Unholy Matrimony. Mm -hmm. Bro, that song is mad. <laughs> that song is mad. Do you know what I just pictured? I pictured you being at the altar. Or at the last minute. Last minute someone just goes home. <laughs> and that happens a lot. Yeah, Kofi. That's, bro. That's, that's horrible. That is, how does it That's, get there? Why does it get there? I think lack of communication. Um, but the wedding day, bro. Yeah, wedding day is crazy. That's mad to me. Wedding bro. day is crazy. Everyone's there. And it's a They've lot of paid money. <laughs> <laughs> Flights booked. Flights booked. Dresses bought. Yo, I please. think yeah, I think it, it's. I think sometimes people could end up in situations where they're not walking away from a situation because they don't want to hurt the other person. True. And so the last minute... And then they, it just keeps building and building and they're like, all right, I'm going to just have to hurt you. Oh, it gets like that sometimes in life. Because they're empathetic. Yeah. Talk to me about growing up in Long Beach, homie. 
<laughs> homie. <laughs> no, Long Beach was was amazing. It had everything I needed and everything I needed to stay away from. Right. And I think every child should have both. Right. So they can develop um, metaphorically an immune system to society. Right. You know, they want you don't just want your kids to be all book smart. Yeah. And then they get out into the real world and they just get bullied. I hear that. So that's what it was. And it had the perfect mix of culture. I had all types of cuisine. Chase. High school, middle Chase. school. It was all mixed race, multicultural. So. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Got it. Were you getting yourself in, um, in uh, a lot of trouble? No. Oh, he's a good boy. Yeah. But isn't this the same school that Snoop Dogg went like to? like girls or something. Isn't it, hey, true. But isn't, isn't this the same school that Snoop Dogg went to? Yeah. It sounds like trouble. Yeah, but you know what it is? It, it, it's my mom did a really good job at like making okay. sure we got to mommy. Yeah, she she sheltered. Yeah, okay. But yeah. she did as much as she could. Okay. But she taught us enough in the house to like, if we see it, we knew not to be it. Right. Never be a follower. We, I was never a follower, and still not. Okay. So Love that. even though you made her cry on the album, how proud is she of you? She she still can't believe it. <laughs> oh, I get, crazy! I get, a, I get a weekly call. About how she, how grateful she is. I love that. I love that. I'm like, all right, it's been two years, Jeez. three years. Love Honestly, that. that's not that long when I say it out loud, but okay, okay. Yeah. Is it true Drake was your first feature ever? Yes. He reached out. So my whole team is from Toronto. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Six. And it, 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 I feel like what I love about Toronto is just such a like. At least in certain industries, it could, it's it's like family oriented, and right. a lot of people know each other. Right. Right. So I I made something, and my manager heard it and sent it out. Yeah, Sick. but then it, after that we ended up talking. Love to know, yeah, yeah. Have you done something with Kendrick yet? No, I would love to though. I can see it, bro. I, I can see it now. You bro, like, like L.A. Well, he's from Compton, but it's like a, yeah, yeah, LA of course, still. It's, it's a hero. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That should work. That should happen. I think yeah, at, at some point it has to. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um, what else is to come, please, for you in the next coming months and year? What? I'm always in the studio. Okay, always working. Yeah, working, writing these stories. So I hear you. I hear you. But uh, hopefully, I get to you know just relax and. Take my time. I hear Take you, time. Take your time. Yeah. Bro, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on. Um, you're making fantastic music and it's Thank definitely you. timeless. You know what I mean? Your numbers online are crazy. <laughs> and it's not even, it's not even, it's not even your conventional, like your your hit song for radio or whatever. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. But you're still doing them more than most. Man, thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate that. And the door is always open for you. Bro. Yeah, I'm here. I'll be back. Yes, yes, indeed. 